here are our two choices. We can either go with a Cronark MGL or a Corrado DC. Dude, yeah. Yeah, that, that looks like a basset now. All right, if I catch a fish on this. Oh, there's one. Really? What? Oh, no way, dude. What is it? Nice. I told you. Dude. I told you. Was that on a frog? Wow, it is cold today. Yes, I know, you read the title and you're probably wondering, Ryan, how are you gonna pull off this challenge? Well, let me explain to you something real quick. There is a promo currently going on at Bass Pro Shops where you can trade in an old rod and reel for a coupon. And what that coupon basically allows you to do is buy any new rod and reel and the more expensive that item is, the more money you get off of it. Today, I will be trading in my Black Max and Berkeley Cherry Wood combo. I grinded the heck out of it in 2020, and I feel like it's it's about time to say goodbye to it. The good thing about this promo is that it is going to a good cause. All old gear donated will be going to people who cannot afford it. I think that's enough talking. I'm pretty excited to get this new baitcaster. I've been wanting to get one for a long time. Let's go ahead and head in. I'm also joined with my friend Nathan, Ethan right here. He is also known as the Redhead Fisherman. We're gonna go in, put our masks on, and see what they got. Thank you. Got our coupon, now let's go make our way to the reels. Cronark, that's so far the most expensive reel I've seen. SLX MGL, Corrado DC, Corrado K, Corrado 201, that's a left-handed reel. Here are our two choices. We can either go with a Cronark MGL or a Corrado DC. So this was a little bit of a surprise. I didn't know they had these in stock. Tough decision. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll just go with this one. Decided to go with the Cronark MGL. It's $280. I'm gonna get $50 off with the coupon. Pretty good deal. I gotta pick up another Mega Bass Jerk Bait because I lost my only one and it just caught so many fish for me. This is the one that I caught a bajillion fish on. Mega Bass Junior 110. Red Eye Shads. Let's pick a couple up. Well, we did it. Woo! All right. Finally, mask is off. Oh, my strap just broke. <laughs> so I've been messing around with this thing for a couple days, working out all the gears and quirks of this reel. It's got a really unique braking system. It's called a SVS Infinity braking system. It took me a while to figure out, but eventually got it dialed down. And this thing can really cast light lures with no problem. Today is about the most perfect day for fishing, honestly because we got a slight breeze, but uh, it's we got air temperatures of like 65. It feels like 70. I'm joined by two friends right here, one friend right there. Uh, they've, they've been here for a while now. They haven't caught anything yet, but we still have a bunch of other ponds to try. And I think that's just gonna be the deal for today. Hopefully if we can catch a fish on this new reel, that'd be pretty sick. But yeah, don't wanna talk too much. Let's get into fishing and hope you guys enjoy. Got this paired up on a seven foot three, medium heavy rod. Gonna be starting off with this chartreuse. Uh, well, this technically isn't a chatterbait, it's a Guggen Squad clickbait. Never fished this, picked it up the other day. I was like, why not, let's, let's give it a go. From my initial observation, it's obviously pretty, uh, pretty grassy. One thing I'm already noticing off of this reel is that when reeling in a lure it's just so incredibly i know you guys probably hear a bunch of times but it's just so smooth i think all four of us are working chatter baits right now you might not get the most bites on it but there are it, it produces some biggins for sure it is windy let's switch things up i think they're like in that weird transition stage they should be really eating though, so I don't know. Oh, this is a really narrow pond. Perfect for what we're throwing right now. What? Bass's mouth. Dude, yeah. Yeah, that, that looks like a bass's mouth. Yeah, looks, looks like, like a good one. Oh yeah, I'm guessing like, oh dude, Nick, what do you think? That's, that's can I see it? Yeah. Oh man, yeah. 
bang. Ooh, soar it. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, ho, ho. That wind just changed it last second. All right, if I catch a fish on this. Oh, there's one. That's so dumb. That is, oh, that is big. It's big. Get, get, oh, 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 yes. Oh, it's taking drag. Oh, dude. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, buddy. Oh, man, he's dogging me. All right. Okay, it's not as big as I thought, but definitely pretty cool. Dude, that was so funny. I literally said it'd be pretty funny if I catch a fish on this cast. Nice. I mean, he's fat. Look at that. That, Definitely that's a female. That's the first fat one I've ever seen here. Definitely a female. Yeah. That right there is our first fish of the day. Let's go. Let's get some pictures and dunk her back. I gotta use that angles. <laughs> My shoe's wet, but that was worth it. <laughs> Let's go. See that curve up there? You should throw there. Oh, you got one? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go! All right, I'll go land it for you. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, okay, you got it. Nick here just caught his first largemouth bass of 2021. Do the little switch and flip. Good stuff, man. Let's go. I hate to be that guy, but when you get two bites in a row, you gotta cast next to your buddy. Really? What? Oh no! What are you doing? What is it? What is going on? Oh man, dude! Hold him on beautiful cast. That's insane. I should change into white color. It's a little. Oh, uh, that could have ended bad. Woo! Just saw my life flash before my eyes. I'm here taking a water break. Nick's already got another one. Mm. Huh? You got another one? No. Uh, I got plenty of bites down there though. Oh yeah. That's what we want. That is what we want. Yeah, you want to give it a cast? Here we go. Like one day oh, oh man! Hit right at the bank. Just keep throwing here. You said it was just starting, but it was super slow. I snagged it. Why are not really? Dead, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get this out. Well, I tried to uh, rescue mine by using uh, Nick's lipless to kind of like drag the line more in, but now we're both stuck, so we need Holden to come and help. Man. Oh, look at Holden. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. I told you. Dude. I well, told you. I, I was that on a frog? Yeah. Oh. I my this Dude. I, did, so I, I, I told was <laughs> I, I was right. I All right. You. Um. Hey, uh, anyone have a frog? I have an extra. Yeah, could I? I'll that's tie what, it on. That's what I was yelling at y'all earlier. Three fish on. I All right, let's get on a worm. There we go. All right. I will find out for sure um, for that. Nice. I think that's it, and I entered your order for the bait you requested. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, my friend just caught a two pounder. Awesome. <laughs> have, a have a great day. Nick, I was on a phone call and then you just go ahead and pull that out. Nice. I, I was dragging the white craw across. He blew up on the craw and then yeah. I punched it through. I got to blow up on the frog. All right, I guess we're punching. Yeah, let's punch this grass. Uh, Nick gave me a white crawl to use. All of our blow ups have been right here and right here. Go straight in the middle. Boom. The oh. last cast, which turns into 10 more. Never would have thought I would have this tied on this time of year. Yeah, so there's not much to say. That was a pretty crazy day, Nick. He, he finally caught his first few bass and he ended up catching some of the coolest bass, punching that grass and 
some nice topwater blow up. So if this video hits, I don't know, 150 likes, I'll do another challenge similar to it. Uh, overall thoughts on the Cronark MGL. It's, it's a great reel and I'm glad I got it on sale because I wouldn't want to pay the full price for it because it's kind of pricey. But please leave a like if you, you know, enjoyed the video. Guess I'll see you guys soon. And as always folks, fish for the adventure.